a city that stands on seven hills, just like Jerusalem, Rome and Constantinople. Atop them are main shrines and remnants of historical structures, known far beyond Ukraine. This ancient city, regarded as the ancient capital of Eastern Slavdom and the spiritual and cultural center of Ukraine. Today we will continue our visit of the amazing and beautiful city of Kiev and show you the most interesting sites and unusual monuments, streets and yards, alleys and power places. There is some kind of urban magic here. So let's find out exactly where these secrets and wonderful places are located. Hello, my name is Lyudmila. I came to Kyiv recently and I every day discover new places in this beautiful city. And today I invited Olena, who knows about many interesting sites in Kyiv. And we want to open your eyes to these beautiful architectural and historic sites in the capital of Ukraine. Hello, Olena. Hello, Lyudmila. Today I want to show you Kyiv from an unusual perspective. We will take you to places where you can make wishes. Tell me, do you have any particular wishes? I have a lot of them. <laughs> Kyiv is a city that has some kind of peculiar urban magic, where if you know these secret places, then all your wishes will surely come true. So are you ready? Cool, let's go! Well, here is a legendary monument to the great prince of Kyiv, Yaroslav the Wise. He did a lot for Kyiv. We are now standing on the old border of the city, between the ancient city and the new city of the 11th century. It was at this time that Yaroslav the Wise built the city exactly to this point, and he holds the majestic St. Sophia Cathedral in his hands. He also fulfills wishes. How? First, we have to find a special spot on this monument. Come on, let's take a look. Yep. I have found it. Wait, you need to know the proper ritual. Tell me, Luda, do you have some kind of a special creative wish? Yes. You have such a wish and can imagine it well? So, now place your palm on the spot and then imagine that wish, vividly, in bright colors of joy. Like it already happened and you are overjoyed because of this. I am ready. <laughs> this ritual of making wishes exists because of the following urban legend. The monument was erected at the end of the 20th century by disciples of the great sculptor Ivan Kavaleridze. He was considered the Ukrainian Michelangelo. This is his project, but it was created in the 1950s in the form of a small bronze ink pot. And when in 1997 a monument was planned to him, there was no better project. Then the monument was increased in size and students of Ivan Kavaliridze erected this monument and put their palms to it not only to show respect for Kavaliridze, but also to monumentalize themselves. These are the palms of the students of the great sculptor. And that is why wishes that are made here must be creative. Then creative projects will definitely be fulfilled. I hope so. And now we will go to the main cat of Kiev, who fulfills all people's wishes. So let's go, let's run! Right next to the monument to Yaroslav the Wise, located a few steps away from the beginning of the Zolotovoritsky Square, there is a small stone on which a bronze cat is sitting. And this is our Pantusha, the garden of the Zolotovoritsky Square, who brings good luck to people. Here you can wish what you want, as long as you are ready to learn how to do it properly. Yes, sure. Take the tail in one hand, the left ear in the other hand, and whisper your most important wish, and then think about what you should do next. Should I rub it? Right. The cat doesn't need money, it needs petting. He needs to be petted. 
Но But before you do this ritual, I will tell you the real story about why this bronze cat appeared exactly here. Back in the 1980s, there was the restaurant Pantagruel, opposite to the square, where a large and gray fluffy cat lived, almost of that size. A sad thing happened. The restaurant burned down and Pantusha suffocated from the smoke. And the constant grateful visitors of the restaurant put up a monument to Pantusha here to show their love. И Пантюша очень любит, к Пантюше часто приходят гости, ты видишь, что он такой натёртый. Do you have a wish for this feline? Да. Yes, I am ready. But do not forget the tail, the ear and the wish in his ear. Да, и на это ушко желание. Please do not eavesdrop. I can stand here for hours. The main thing is not to forget to pet the cat. Then all your wishes will surely be fulfilled. So let's go further. Our guide today, Olena, escorted Ludmila to the monument of the literary character Mikhail Panikovsky from the novel The Golden Calf by Ilfen Petrov, whose role was played in the legendary movie by the famous Zinovi Gert, now immortalized in bronze. The literary hero stands in the place where, in accordance with the script of the novel, he worked in the early 20th century, posing as a blind man, fooling a gullible passers-by on Prorizna Street, just a stone's throw from Hrishatik. Look at him carefully, because now you will have to solve one of his secrets. Do you have a mirror? Yes, I do. Great. Отлично. First, you need to see what is under his shoe. To do this, open the mirror and put it under the shoe. So what do you see? <laughs> is there something? There is a fake sign. Well, in fact, it does not mean that you will get nodded. We bend down to the shoe to kneel before the great blind man. And after that, there is a certain ritual of how to make a wish and ask for money. <laughs> Do you know exactly what amount of money you need? You need to know exactly when, how much and what kind of bills you want. Ready? Yes. So now you need to stand on the shoe and whisper in Panikovsky's ear the amount of money you need. Now that you have asked, you need to thank him. So how do you thank him? We petted the Pantusha. And what do we do here? We give money. There's the wallet over there. Thick pockets usually threw away wallets so that they would not be found. And you should put a coin under the purse. Have you got a coin? Yes. There should be an exchange of energy, since you asked a lot and expended a lot. Here, put a coin like this under the purse. Once you do that, the legendary blind man will fulfill your wish. Now I will be rich. Now you will be rich. And we go further. And now we're on one of the main squares of Kiev, the famous St. Sophia Square. And it is not by chance that we ended up with you right here, between two cathedrals. Here you place your hands like this and feel, here is where you feel the power between the Sophia of Kiev and St. Michael's Golden Domed Cathedrals. The St. Sophia Cathedral, which is a thousand years old, and the St. Michael's Golden Domed Cathedral, which is a remake, it also soon will be a thousand years old. That is why it is a source of energy. Oh, how mysterious it is! And here is St. Sophia of Kiev, where you can see the Mother of God, Orens, a huge mosaic fresco, and the great protector of Kiev. She stands in a secure place. She protects and people come to ask her to protect their family, the city and the country. People say as long as Sophia stands, Kiev will stand. We are now in a very powerful and unusual place. This is the heart not only of Kyiv, but of Kyiv and Rus. 
here there are writings on the stones. From here the Rus land began. Kiev and Rus began from here, from Starokievska mountain. According to legend, Kishchak Horiv and their sister Libet arrived on these banks of the Dnipro River and founded the city, and their first palace was here on Mount Starokievska. And this hill is considered a place of power and energy, where there are ancient temples and on which the first stone church of Kievan Rus was built, the Church of the Tithes. There is also a tree of love, which is 350 years old. It is a mentioned linden tree, near which wishes of love are made. I want to go there. Let's go if you want to. And now we have come to the natural miracle of Kiev, one of the most ancient trees in the city, known as Linden Tree of Petro Mohila. More than 350 years ago, this Linden Tree was planted by the Metropolitan. It is the symbol of the goddess Lada, of harmony with a loved one. In under this tree, people make a wish for everlasting love. Well, at last! But there is a certain ritual here as well. You should go around the linden tree three times in a clockwise direction, and then hold on to its twig and share with it the energy and love. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Kiev is a city that is always full of surprises, delight, and will fulfill people's most secret and intimate desires. Today Ludmila has made all her innermost wishes, and one of them has already come true. What? Here is a prince for you. <laughs> At last. <laughs> the little prince is one of the significant figures on this Peizajna alley, and everyone loves him very much and takes pictures with him, so I'll be happy to take a photo of you with him. Well, this is the end of our wonderful journey, and we came to visit the founders of Kiev, Kish, Czech, Horiv, and Sister Libet. Today we visited their place on Mount Starokievska, in the very heart of our city. And here, on their boat, they seemed to have frozen for ages while meeting all the guests who come to our city. And it is not by chance that a tree of desires grows next to them. And here you should have a ribbon with you, which you will tie on this tree, and all the wishes that you made today will be put together on this tree. And I invite you all to travel around Ukraine and come to our native city, where we will show the most unusual, mysterious places and promise that all your wishes will be fulfilled. So now let's run to the tree of wishes. Today is a beautiful day when dreams come true, and I want to thank Olena for giving me a genuine feeling of this magical and wonderful city. I want to invite you to come to this city, and also hope that all your dreams will come true just like mine. Travel around Ukraine, discover new cities and tell the whole world about them. Let every trip you take be fun, fascinating and unforgettable.